Grade 6 Math, number 3.6. Problem solving, choose an operation. Well, we know when we do a word problem, we need to choose a strategy. We can work backwards. We can solve a simpler problem. We can choose an operation, use a model, use a formula, or draw a diagram. We're going to choose an operation in this one because we've got multiple operations to do, adding, subtracting, we can break a multi-step problem into single steps to help us find a solution. Emma's family is hiking a six-mile trail that has two rest areas. The first rest area is one and five-eighths miles from the beginning of the trail, and the second rest area is two and a six miles past the first rest area. How far is the second rest area from the end of the trail? All right, well, you know what? We can even draw a little diagram to help us. Here's the beginning of the trail, okay? They walk the trail and they go one and five eighths miles to the first rest area. Then they walk to the second rest area and that's two and one six miles from here to here, okay? And then there's the end of the trail. Okay, so we need to find out the distance between the second rest area and the end. So, we think. What do we need to find? The distance from the second rest area to the end of the trail. What information do we need to use? We need the length of the trail and the distance to the first and second rest areas, right? How will we use the information? Well, we can combine these two measurements and then subtract them from the total length of the trail and then we'll know this little piece right here, right? All right, so we've got 1 and 5 eighths and 2 and 1 sixths. In order to add them, we need to have them have a common denominator. We list their common products, their common multiples, and they both can meet at 24's house. 8 is multiplied by 3 to get to 24's house, and 6 is multiplied by 4. The numerators get jealous and get multiplied by the same thing, and we have 1 and 15 24 and 2 and 4 24 We do our sub our addition and we get 19 24 and a 3. That is the total from the beginning to here. 3 and 19 24 So now what we can do if we know that the total is 6 miles is we can subtract the 3 and 19 24 from the 6 to find out what this piece is, right? Except there's no fraction here. So what we need to do to the 6 is turn it into a 5 and 24 24 because we know that equals 1. Now we can take the 3 and 19 24 from it and get 2 and 5 24 miles to the end of the trail. See? All right. Lisa is making a dragon costume, and the pattern instruction says she needs 3 and 3 fourths yards of fabric for the body and the tail. Okay? She needs 1 and a half yards for the hood part, and for the mittens and for the feet part. She needs seven ace yards for the contrast spiky spines and the belly area. Well, if she has six and a half yards of the dark green and one and a half yards of the lime green, how much fabric will she have left of each when she's finished? All right, well, we need to add the green parts together, right? the three and three-fourths yards for the body and tail and the one and a half for the hood, mittens, and feet. So we'll add those together. We have three and three-fourths plus one and a half. They need to meet at a common denominator and they can meet at four's house. Two times two is four, so one gets jealous, it gets multiplied by two. Now we can add three and three-fourths and one and two-fourths and we get four and five-fourths. We can pull a four-fourths out of this and give it to the whole number and then we have five and one-fourth. Okay, now remember, she has six and a half yards of the dark green, but she only is using five and one fourth. Okay, so let's take the five and one fourth from the six and a half to find out how much she's got left over. They need to have a common denominator to subtract, so they're going to meet at four's house. Two times two is four, one gets jealous, it gets multiplied by two. Six and a half take away five and a four, six and two fourths take away five and one fourth is one and one fourth of the dark green is left. Now we need to do the lime green. She only needs seven eighths of the yard, right? So we need to subtract that part 
from the total lime green fabric that she has. She has one and a half yards of lime green. So we need to take the seven eighths yards from the one and a half that she's got, okay? Because that's how much she needs and that's how much she's got. They need to meet at a common denominator so they can meet at eights house, right? Two times four is eight, so one gets multiplied by the same, it's jealous. So we get one and four eighths minus seven eighths. Well, the numerator's still too small. We made the denominator the same, but the numerator's still too small. So we need to turn this one into an eight eighths and add it to the fraction. We do, and the eight and the four make a 12 eighths. Now we can subtract 12 eighths, right? From 12 eighths. 12 take away seven is five, and we know she's got five eighths yards of lime green left when she's finished. So now we know she's got one and one fourth yards of dark green and five eighths of lime green. Not enough to make another costume, but at least we know how much she's got left over. Now what would we do to check to make sure that this is the right answer? How, do, how can we check this? What we can do is we can add what we think she's got left over to the two amounts that she used. The one and one fourth plus the two that she used should total the six and a half she started with. And the five eighths that she had left added to what she used should total the one and a half. See? For the trail, if we take the two and five twenty-fourths miles to the end of the trail and we add it to the two and one six and the one and five eighths, it should total the six mile trail. See? So we can just do addition as the inverse operation, right? So that's choosing an operation. You just break it into smaller steps, no big deal. Problems like this aren't really difficult to do. There's just a lot of steps to them, and they're not really that hard. It's just more steps, that's all. Okay, you can do this. I bet you can. It's no big deal. I'll see you next video. Bye.